attack on Ukraine has now prompted an emergency meeting with world leaders in Brussels. They'll be meeting for a NATO summit to try to align their responses to Russia's invasion. New sanctions against Russia are now on the table, and NATO leaders say they're pledging to double their military presence in Ukraine to fight back. The death toll is now climbing on both sides with nearly 1,000 civilian deaths and up to 15,000 Russian troops killed. Well, KPRC is the only local station with a crew on the ground in Eastern Europe covering the humanitarian crisis unfolding amid this war. And it is a crisis people here in Texas want to help with. Our Zach Lajway joining us live this morning from the town of Helm, Poland. And Zach, you have joined fellow Texans there volunteering their time helping Ukrainian refugees. Good morning to you. Good morning, Lisa. Yes, we are approximately 15 miles away from that border. Majority of Ukrainians fleeing that country are coming here to Poland. And when they arrive, they are greeted and helped by people from all across the world, including Texans who are busy converting churches into shelters. Tucked away in a secluded neighborhood in Warsaw, Poland, the Baptist Union of Poland's headquarters, usually a place where people go to pray, is now a shelter for people displaced by war. Is their home, yep. Reverend Dr. Matai hutz is pastor of the Baptist Union of Poland. We have every day about 120 refugees plus. Wajarej explains some stay for a night while others stay for days. We have some refugees who have no idea, no clue at all what to do next. And those, those ones are of course the biggest challenge, not only for us, but also for themselves. Some know only Ukrainian. They cannot communicate any other way unless they have a translator. They are basically taken uh, or, or, or decided to be moved from the place where they lived all their life. Barhae says oftentimes these refugees are women traveling with children as they left their husbands and sons behind to fight for Ukraine. They don't want to move farther because they still feel like they are not complete to take, take next, next stage in their life. And this is why they prefer to stay around. We sometimes don't know how to help them. And you would like to help, but you don't know how. Are you afraid? Yes, I am afraid. The next step would be Baltic states or Poland. So I really feel like Ukrainians are fighting right now for Poland. This is why I would like Polish army to fight for Ukraine. And so, Outside the chapel at the Baptist Union of Poland is a sign of solidarity. Was the Ukraine flag always yep. here? No, no, we just we just decided to, to do it uh, when the war started, basically. Right now, TBM is currently helping five churches. To give you perspective, there are 110 Baptist churches throughout Poland. Nearly half of those churches have uh, converted their uh, places of worship into shelters. The other half, they're not able to because they do not own the properties. So people at those congregations are opening their homes to these refugees. Amy and Lisa? It really is something to hear about. And Zach, what are you seeing among the adults and the children there? They've made it across the border to a safe space, but are they still worried about their safety? Yeah, you know, we've been on the ground for a little less than 24 hours, and we spent most of our day in Warsaw at one of those shelters. And it was really, it was emotional. It's really tough to uh, see these people, you know, there leaving, knowing they left all of their lives behind. But the children, they're happy. They're running around. Uh, the adults seem to be worried. Uh, they're very reserved. Uh, speaking with them, we need a translator. Uh, we've met one person so far who is able to speak uh, Ukrainian and uh, uh, English, but uh, for the most part, they do not speak English. So we use a translator and, uh, you know, they're worried. They're, they're concerned. We certainly feel for them and all of those who are still in Ukraine uh, fighting this fight. Uh, Zach Lajway, we appreciate your reporting there. The only local reporter uh, at the Polish-Ukraine border. We'll see you next hour with another live report. Thank you.